All right, so I'm going to take you along a biking adventure with me. Uh, so essentially, I'm going from the west side of Chicago in towards the lake. You'll see I'm passing the United Center up here on the right. This is a neighborhood I would consider near west side. Uh, so it's just west of West Loop. Um, and I purchased over here about three and a half, four years ago. Now, um, it's definitely seen a lot of growth. You can even see there's a music festival here. This is Union Park. I'm crossing over Ashland. Um, and that street that came up on was Warren, but now I'm down on Madison. You'll see that I'll uh, hang a left here and head into the gym, which is kind of my normal routine on a Saturday morning. Today you can kind of get up, get to it pretty early. It was nice, beautiful day out, not a cloud in the sky. So this is the West Loop area. It's definitely grown over the last five to seven years tremendously. Ton of new buildings, ton of new restaurants. It's really kind of the hot spot of the city. Um, but I don't want to take Randolph, which is the main street in West Loop, all the way down um, because it doesn't have a main bike lane there. So I hop back down on Madison. Madison is a really important street, not just because it's the main artery east-west through the city, um, or that it provides this bike lane that I find very, uh, you know, helpful when I'm trying to bike around the city, but it also serves as the zero point, kind of almost the zero meridian line where it separates the north and south of the city. So as you go north of Madison, you count up 100, 200, 300, and as you go south of Madison, you count down 100, 200, right, south. Uh, I'm crossing over 290 there, uh, and I'm heading in towards Union Station. You'll see that Apple actually always has a pretty prominent ad placement here on the billboard that sits here. Now, there's a ton of trains that come in and out of the station every day, um, and I'll actually go through this area here. It's a bike lane that's made for buses and bikes. It's kind of nice there. Um, and I'm crossing over the Chicago River. You'll see those iconic bridges there. And once you get into the downtown area, they actually paint this area green for the bike lane. It doesn't always help pedestrians that just kind of stand there. But yeah, it is nice to have it protected somewhat um, going through the city. Um, oftentimes, people don't look left or right for bikes. They only kind of are looking for cars. But in a large city like this, you should look for both. I'm headed straight towards the beam, right? So this would be like Maggie Daly Park. You'll see there's a large amphitheater as it starts to open up right here in the distance. Uh, I'm gonna hang a left and kind of go around that area and then head actually underneath Lakeshore Drive. There's a great brunch spot right over there, uh, Wildberry Cafe, always packed, but I'm headed underneath Lakeshore Drive now and you'll see it just kind of opens up and you realize you're out towards um, the lake now. And I always have said biking the city is like the best way to see it. This lakeshore path, I'm officially on the path now, is one of the best ways to see the city, to enjoy the views. Over to the right, you'll see this black building. And that's the only building that's to the east of Lakeshore Drive. Um, they found a way of kind of skirting some of the city permitting re regulations. You'll hear about that if you ever do the architectural boat tour. You'll see boats are out there in the water as well. Um, all of these are like this high rise buildings that you see. Um, oftentimes when you're new to the city, you'll, you'll find uh, an apartment in one of these condos and you'll kind of rent that out, um, give you close proximity to the lake. Um, this is really busy today uh, on this Saturday they had the professional volleyball out there as well um, I think it was like 80 to 90 degrees so it was really hot I tried to get out early to avoid that I'm headed to a golfing range now um, you'll see that I actually uh, am passing over some of the bridges that you can access the beach that's over there to the right the beach area goes for a while, but then eventually it starts to turn into more of a kind of walkway and you won't necessarily have to go in that beach area. Um, you'll see that kind of do that there. I'm more towards like where you would say, um, you know, Lincoln Park starts to come. If you get off up here, you can head towards the Lincoln Park Zoo. Um, I'm headed north 
uh, past kind of like Lincoln Park, like entering into the uh, Lakeview area, but I realized that I go a little bit too far because I'm trying to get over to, to Bercy Harbor. That's where their main driving range in the city is. And I should have got off at Belmont, which is what I just passed back there. Um, but, you know, look, it's one of those things. It's a beautiful day. Who's going to complain about a few extra, um, you know, a few, a little bit extra time on the bike? This is um, a harbor over there as well. So you'll see a lot of bark boats will park up there. Um, I actually end up turning back around, head back down to Diversity Harbor. This is me kind of just uh, entering into the golf range. Um, happy that I was able to get here um, on, on this day. And I've tried to get back into the swing of things in terms of like golfing and, um, you know, en enjoying myself with that sport. But it is a tough sport. Um, it is one that takes a lot of focus, but it's fun. 